The physical collection of data on the various elements of the environment can be a long and arduous task. Remote sensing of the environment is the collection of data without coming into direct contact with the object being studied. Dr. Moses Chaw is a remote sensing scientist and utilizes his craft to study endangered or stressed vegetation species, determine tree species composition in protected areas and analyze the grazing capacity of rangelands. Environmental uh, protection, I would say, it's, it's quite a challenge and needs timely and cost-effective information. And with remote sensing technology, we are able to provide data that are can quite timely and in the most cost-effective way uh, uh, provide uh, solutions to, to uh, environmental protection challenges. My job entails producing information about vegetation characteristics of our broad areas that are usually inaccessible to the uh, common user. For example, we can provide information about uh, fuel wood, that is firewood, this is uh, the main source of energy to uh, rural, uh, the rural poor and with, with that kind of information uh, policy makers, uh, let's say district and provincial officers, even national officers can better advise uh, rural communities how to sustainably manage their firewood uh, availability. Finding solutions to environmental problems has, has been a challenge to the human community for thousands of years and obtaining information about areas over large areas that cannot be reached by, by many people is, has been a problem. Uh, so with the development of uh, technology like uh, remote sensing, we can acquire information about you know, inaccessible areas uh, and rapidly enough, you know, it's, it's almost uh, a very time effective, cost effective uh, when compared to you know, traditional methods of, of moving out into the field and spending weeks and weeks uh, trying to obtain information. Uh, other interesting projects uh, include um, the ability to produce a very accurate uh, estimates of the level of greenness of plants, which is an indicator of plant stress. Um, back in 2006, I developed a model which is very accurate in terms of uh, uh, detecting vegetation stress. And this model is you now being used uh, all over the world, in China, uh, the USA, in, in applications such as uh, precision agriculture, that is producing timely information about crop uh, status or crop condition, or otherwise when Chris say crop stress on, on a very timely uh, basis. And that helps farmers in terms of when to fertilize their crops, when to water, uh, in order to optimize the, the, uh, the crop yield. What makes my job interesting is that uh, you know, it, it involves uh, this critical thinking, uh, the science, you know, and the fact that uh, communities and different stakeholders uh, do pick up the, the results of our work and actually use them to solve uh, environmental problems. My advice for young people who want to pursue a career in uh, remote sensing of uh, the environment is that uh, one, they, they should have uh, the love for science, the passion for science. Two, hard work is, is equally you know, very important. And when it comes to the uh, sort of background, you, you need you know, good knowledge of mathematics and physics, at least at the metric level, and uh, a degree in geography, environmental science, or the biological sciences. I love science, I love the environment, I love technology. It's this combination of my love for nature conservation and, and technology which you know gives me satisfaction on, on a daily basis. <laughs>